And Alan, great to have you on the show. Good morning, Morgan. Thanks for having me. So given the fact that we are talking about food inflation right now, and that does seem to be on an even higher potentially upward trend given some of the stuff that we're seeing going on geopolitically in Eastern Europe. Um, what does that mean for you and how you're navigating that at your restaurants? Um, so on the restaurant side and the protein side, we've seen wholesale inflation over the last three months, depending on ingredient type, anywhere from 4% up to 100%, depending on the items. And so on the restaurant front, all we, we've moderately raised prices. Um, in the fourth quarter of last year coming out of COVID. And um, right now, to be honest, I have no plans to increase pricing again this year, but we'll of course take a look at it as we get to the third and fourth quarter. A hundred percent increase. I mean, I, it's, it's hard to wrap your mind around that in some ways. I mean, if you're not gonna raise prices again, or if you can't necessarily push all of that cost out to consumers and in terms of pricing, are there other ways that you're going about navigating this? Um, well, we can obviously try and be more efficient in our operations. There's always savings that way. We're also, you know, you got to remember the mindset coming out of COVID and being in the restaurant business. Mm. We're looking to build back our business and not send anyone away. We're, not, we're, we're just getting close to our 100% sales threshold from 2019. So the last thing I want to do is upset that apple cart. We want to continue to grow and, you know, grow our business. And I think we'll make up for it that way by getting back on our feet. You know, this is this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. So, um, and I also believe there's some opportunistic price taking. You know, from some of our set people who sell us uh, all set goods. What do you mean by that, Alan? What I mean by that, David, is so. For instance, you know, cream cheese, which is one of our largest throughputs and ingredients. You know, in our wholesale business, we sell into about eight thousand supermarkets across the country. Cream cheese is up thirty-eight percent this year which dries off the butter market. Butter market's only up 11%. So I believe we have some friends in industry that are looking at this time. There's, you know, there's inflation on the food side, there's inflation on the labor side, there's inflation on the trucking side, and they're saying, let's grab a whole bunch of price increase while we can. Yeah, uh, it was interesting to hear you say about getting back to 100%. I don't want to revisit old conversations that weren't great. Of course, we, I think we did have you on during the course of the pandemic. People are finally coming back in full, Alan. I mean, what are you seeing in terms of just customer visits at this point? We, we, are, we are in range of about 92% as of last week. That's the most current information I have. And um, on the wholesale side of our business, we've grown over 50% last year and up 29 this year. So on that, you know, the grocery supermarket side is, you know, has benefited from COVID. The restaurant side is just getting back to 100%. And I'm hoping by you know, this summer without any unexpected situations that will be into that 100% mark, if not further through it. Yeah, I mean, when I think juniors, I think, well, in addition to Brooklyn, I, th I think Times Square, too. So in terms of the mix of the customers that are coming in right now, are you seeing tourists and international so travelers, are, travelers come back? Yeah, since the uh, vaccine mandate was just recently lifted in New York, we saw an immediate impact right away. You also got to compound that and take in to consideration, we had the basketball tournaments, a lot of theaters coming back online. I think we're back up to 50% of the theaters in the next four to six weeks. I think you'll be at 100%. Um, that'll make a big difference. And I think it's going to be a great, you know, season through the summer, which is prime time in Times Square. You got enough workers? Excuse me? Do you have enough workers? We do. We're, we're very fortunate that we've always been a very good payer and a good employer. And we've been fully get, you know, we've had full employment probably for the last four or five months getting ready for this. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.